week. And of course, thanks for joining us on the Gallery TV newspaper review this morning. And with me this morning, I have the uh, Nigerian Daily newspaper, which is the Punch, the Daily Independent newspaper, Daily Sun, the Nigerian Tribune, the Nation, and of course, the Guardian newspaper this morning. But of course, starting with this morning is the Punch newspaper. Another major news outline on the front page stories of the Punch newspaper this morning says federal government recalls envoy as Indonesia officials assault Nigerian diplomats. Nigeria threatens to review relations, demands sanctions for errant officials. As diplomats lambs Indonesia, as CSOs ask federal government to sabotage with Southeast Asian countries, and the stories can be found on page 10 inside the Punch newspaper this morning. And then I move above the major news headline this morning. It says Nigeria's major airport not designed for international operations, and that is coming from the federal government. And the story can be found on page 19 inside the Punch newspaper this morning. Then moving below it is states once against violation as 30 day cases hit 10,066, 17 dead. States once against violation as 30 day cases hit 10,066 and 17 dead. And the story can be found on page 2 inside the front newspaper this morning. And moving ahead to page 10 said World Bank lists Nigeria nine others highest debt risk nations. World Bank lists Nigeria nine others as World Bank I list debtors in the nation. We'll begin on the short break and then when we come back the newspaper review continues. <laughs> news to all Lagos residents, especially owners of landed properties. Payment of land use charge has now been made easy through an online platform known as Lola. Lola is Lagos online assistance platform where payment of land use charge is possible through a WhatsApp only message on 0815-433-3883. This Lola platform initiated by the Lagos State Ministry of Finance will make the payment of land use charge possible anytime, any day and anywhere without any third party involvement. For more information, please visit www.lola.ng or heluc.lagostate.gov.ng Lola, the easiest way to pay your Lagos State land use charge. Always remember, Ibigai Pileko Achumoshini. In life, you can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out here, Udra. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man has just been kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pen. Will he succeed? Ah! <laughs> oh, what's my ID found? I see him. Oh, nah. Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank. to all Lagos residents, especially owners of landed properties. Payment of land use charge has now been made easy through an online platform known as Lola. Lola is Lagos online assistance platform where payment of land use charge is possible through a WhatsApp only message on 0815-433-3883. This Lola platform initiated by the Lagos State Ministry of Finance will make the payment of land use charge possible anytime, any day and anywhere. 
there without any third party involvement. For more information, please visit www.lola.ng or luc.lagostate.gov.ng. Lola, the easiest way to pay your Lagos State land use tax. Always remember, Ibigay Pileko Achumoshini. Welcome back from that break. If you're just joining us, it's still the Gallery TV newspaper review this morning, and we are still on the Punch newspaper front page stories. And I move to page two. PDP leaders save secondos race zoning panel convention out October. PDP leaders save secondos race zoning panel convention to old in October. And you can read more on the story on page two inside the punch newspaper this morning and then i move to page 10 it says islamic new year islamic new year said in by peace compassion buari tells nigeria in by peace compassion buari tells nigeria and that's on page 10 inside the punch newspaper this morning and I'm moving to page 27. It says 24 killed in Shokoto as household seasons food with fertilizer. 24 killed in Shokoto State as household seasons food with fertilizer. You can read more on that story on page 27 inside the Punch newspaper this morning. And I'm still on the front page stories of the Punch newspaper, and that's on page 10. South Middle Belt for Pharaoh's planned protest over self-determination at UN Assembly. South Middle Belt Pharaoh's planned protest over self-determination at UN Assembly. You can read more on that on page 10 inside the Punch newspaper this morning. And then moving forward to page 1 and 2, says as permanent secretary 36 Bright Buari. As President, National Assembly demands restructuring before 2023. As Permanent Secretary, that says, Right Buari. As President, National Assembly demands restructuring before 2023. And then I move to page 27. Man 28 arrested for kidnapping, raping 15 year old girl, collecting ransom. Man 28 arrested for kidnapping, raping 15 year old girl, and collecting ransom. And the lastly, on the front, the front page stories of the Punch newspaper this morning said Dixon dismisses petition as EFCC grills health governor over alleged 17.5 billion naira diversion orders. Dixon dismisses petition as EFCC grills health governor over alleged 17.5 billion naira diversion and others. And that can be found on page 10 inside the, the Punch newspaper this morning. And then I move to Daily Sun newspaper this morning. And on the front page stories of the Daily Sun newspaper this morning, on the major news headline, I have APC crisis. Governor stands by Boni. Governor stands by Boni. Say urge leadership members to continue with local governments, state congresses, national convection. And that can be found on page six inside the Daily Sun newspaper this morning still then i move above the major news headline it says efcc grills s by Hossa governor dixon efcc grills l by Hossa state governor dixon and that's how we can be found on page four inside the daily sun newspaper this morning moving ahead and that's on page 26 it says separatists agitators to stage one million man march at u.n september Separatists are dictators to stage one million man march at UN September. Demands abolition of 1999 constitution referendum for self determination. Demands abolition of 1999 constitution referendum for self determination. And that can be found on page 26 of the Daily Sun newspaper this morning. 
Moving below the major news headline, second dose to go in September in October. Second dose to go in October. Reprised for embattled PDP national chairman as opposition gives him two more months. Parties NWC are set out to APC. Sold out to APC. Parties WC are sold out to APC. Resign now, reverse lawmakers insist. As that you can read that on page six inside the Daily Sun newspaper this morning. And I'm still on the front page stories of the Daily Sun newspaper this morning. Restructure Nigeria before 2023. Restructure Nigeria before 2023. And that's as Vice President Sambo charges Buhari and the National Assembly and governors in the nation. You can read that on page 26 inside the Daily Sun newspaper this morning. And I'm still below the major news headline, moving to page 27. Another state government firm trained 400 youths in auto revamp innovation. Another state government firm trained 400 youths in auto revamp innovation. You can turn it to page 27. Of the Daily Sun newspaper this morning to read more on that story. And I'm moving ahead, and that's on page 26. Lagos denies turnover claims at, of Lekki Concession Company. Lagos denies takeover claims of Lekki Concession Company. You can read that on page 26. And I'm moving ahead, and that's on page 25 and 26. Page 25 and 28. Sorry about that. We've spent 502.3 billion naira on COVID-19 insurrection and that is coming from the federal government of Nigeria. We have spent 502.3 billion naira on COVID-19 insurrection. Nigeria to start manufacturing vaccines within one year and that is coming from the NAPDAC. Nigeria to start manufacturing vaccines within one year. And then lastly, on the front page stories of the Daily Sun newspaper this morning says, no plans to sell airports, no plans to sell the airports. And that is coming from the Minister of Aviation. You can turn it to page 25 this morning inside the Daily Sun newspaper. And then with that, I moved to the Nigerian Tribune newspaper this morning. On Nigerian Tribune newspaper front page stories, and on the major news headline, it says PDP second those 10 years shortened by two months. Convention holds in October. We can't defend to non existence. FPC PDP governor says party unveils zoning of offices for convention. You can turn into page two this morning of the Nigerian Tribune newspaper to read more on that story. And then moving ahead. The major news outline it says Dangote Holy Nigerian on Bloomberg's top billionaires list. Dangote is the Holy Nigerian on Bloomberg's top nine, top billionaires list. You can turn into page seven this morning of the Nigerian Tribune newspaper to read more on that story. And then moving to page three this morning on the Nigerian Tribune newspaper. Akitoye Turaki others to lead one million man march to UN General Assembly. Akitoye Turaki others to lead one million man march to UN General Assembly. You can read more on that story on page three to find more on the reason for the one more march to the UN General Assembly. And then moving to page two. Proceed with processes for convention, APC governors tell Buni. Proceed with the processes for the convention, APC governors tells Buni. And that's on page 2. And I'm moving ahead, that's on page 26. It said alleged misappropriation, alleged misappropriation. He also exercises as Governor Dixon releases him on self-recognition. EFCC says his ex governor Dixon releases him on self recognition. You can read Manda's story on page 26 inside the Nigerian Tribune newspaper this morning. 
And then I move to page 30. It says Nigeria threatens to reveal relationship with Indonesia after assault on diplomats. Nigeria threatens to reveal relationship with Indonesia after an assault carried out on the Nigerian diplomats to Indonesia. And then moving to page 6, it again confirms West Africa's first case of Ebola like Magbog virus. Guinea confirms West Africa's first case of Ebola-like Magbug virus. You can turn it to page 6 inside the Nigerian Tribune newspaper this morning to read more on that story and what the virus is all about. And then I move below the news, the major news headline, and that's on page 36, four killed as militias invade Benue community. Four killed as militias invade Benue community. And then on page 28 says NAF airstrikes kill for the five terrorist leaders in Zamfara Forest. NAF airstrikes kill for the five terrorist leaders in Zamfara Forest. And then on page 25, still on page 25, says bandits killed over 112 in Cardinal State, Plateau State in one month, and that is coming from Amnesty International. You can turn into page 25 this morning of the Nigerian Tribune newspaper to read more on that story. And then still on the front page stories of the Nigerian Tribune newspaper this morning says I NIN registration now mandatory for Wahek candidates from 2022. And that is coming from the Wahek said NIN registration now mandatory for those writing the senior secondary school. Leave it certificate examination were heck candidates started from 2022. And then I move to page 28. Government orders residents to relocate to landslide submerges building in Akwa Ibom community. Government orders residents to relocate as landslide submerges buildings in Akwa Ibom community. You can turn it to page 28 this morning on the Nigerian Tribune newspaper to read more on that story. And then moving to page 26, said NDLEA arrest for three drug dealers says it's 137.55 kg of cocaine in Ondo State, Nasarawa State and Benue State. NDLEA arrest for three drug dealers seizes 137.55 kg of cocaine in Ondo State, Nasarawa State, and Benue State, respectively. And that's the end on the Nigerian Tribune front page stories this morning. And with that, I move to the nation. On the nation newspaper, on the front page stories of the nation newspaper this morning, and that's on the major news headline. Governors give secondo soft landing pacify weekend. Governors give secondo soft landing pacifies weekend. PDP convention to hold in October. PDP convention to hold in October. And then NWC members barred from seeking second term. NWC members barred from seeking second term. And then I move ahead. And I'm reading above the major news headline this morning. This thing protest EFCC grilling over 17.5 billion naira cash and then VAT yields 1 trillion naira in 6 months VAT yields 1 trillion naira in 6 months and still on the front page stories of the nation newspaper this morning and then I'm still above the major news headline Nigeria takes on Indonesia are over assault on envoy Nigeria takes on Indonesia over assaults on envoy. And then I move to page two. It says Lagos records 42 COVID-19 deaths in eight days. Lagos records 42 COVID-19 deaths in eight days. 48% of isolation centers filled up. 48% of the isolation centers in Lagos states filled up as COVID-19 cases rise is it daily. Still on the front page stories of the Nation newspaper, he said, If I reincarnate, I will remain Fela's disciple. If I reincarnate, I will remain Fela's disciple. And the Zulam demolishes 11 mosques, says Murig. 
Zulam demolishes a level mark, says Murik, and that's all on above the major news headline on the nation newspaper this morning. And then moving below the major news headline, says MPC governors back Buni led caretaker care panel. MPC governors back Buni led caretaker panel. Congress's convention plans get get rid. No room for defendant comment in leadership. And then I move below, still below the major news headline. NIN compulsory for Wahed next year. NYC NIN compulsory for Wahed next year. And then Dangote on Bulldogs Rich List. Dangote on Boom Blogs Rich List. And that's always on page six inside the nation newspaper this morning. And then with that, I move to the Guardian newspaper. On the front page stories of the Guardian newspaper this morning, and on the major news headline, still on PDP, Secondo survives, gets reprieved with early convention. PDP elects next chairman in October. Next to constitute convention, zoning committee next week. Tambua, MPC lacks socials of political party. MPC lacks structures of a political party, and that is coming from Governor Tambawa. And then MPC governors backs Buni's committee on Congress's national convention. You can turn it to page two to read more on that story. Moving above the major news headline, and that's on the front page stories of the Guardian newspaper this morning, says cholera affleet 31,425 kill big in. 22 states, federal capital territory, and that's on page 3 inside the Guardian newspaper this morning. Still on page 3, Nigeria recalls envoys over abuse in Indonesia. Nigeria recalls envoy over abuse in Indonesia. And still on page 3 also, over 4 billion naira approved for falling of police vehicles. Over 4 billion naira approved for filing of police vehicle in Nigeria. And still on the front page stories, Aimo Fair Wayne's best feature narrative at Black Star Film Festival. Aimo Fair Wayne's best feature narrative at Black Star Film Festival. And that's on page 3 inside the Guardian newspaper this morning. And then moving below the media news headline. Says federal government allays fear over assorted vaccines as 176,000 doses of Johnson and Johnson arrives today. Federal government allays fear over assorted vaccines as 176,000 doses of JNJ arrive today. On base mortality for deployment of Moderna, Lagos records 42 COVID-19 deaths in eight days. Expert explains why fully vaccinated persons still get infected. And you can turn into page two of the Guardian newspaper this morning also to read more on that story. And then lastly, on the front page, daily newspapers this morning, and that's on daily independent newspaper. And I have on the major news headline, Secondo survives all slots as PDP shifts convention to October. Target 40 million members with e registration says peace has finally returned to party NWC. Why second does led NWC can't organize convention? And that is coming from George. You can turn it to page six this morning to read more on that story. And then moving above the major headline on the Daily Independent newspaper this morning. Second Ninja Bridge 80 percent completed. February 2022 date Sakosan says Fashola. Second Niger Bridge 80% completed. February 2022 date Sakosan says Fashola. And again, troops storm Sububu forest in Zamfara state, kill 45 bandits. Again, troops storm Sububu forest in Zamfara state, kill 45 bandits. So on the front page stories of the Daily Independent newspaper this morning, and then I move below the major news headline. 
112 killed, 160 adopted in Kaduna Plateau State in one month, and that is coming from Amnesty International. Lagos the Bank take over reports on Lekki Concession Company. Lagos the Bank take over reports on Lekki Concession Company, and that's on page 30. EFCC Grace Dixon as buyers a governor. Petition against against me. Petition against me totally bevolious. Six Dixon. You can turn it to page 30 this morning to read more on that story. And I'm still on below the major news airline and that's on page 7. YX tax 2021 works August 16. Says no NIN, no exam in 2022. YX tax 2021 works exam in August 16. Says no NIN, no exam in 2022. That's on page 7. Still on page 7, 24 family members die after eating poisonous meal in Shokoto State. 24 family members die after eating poisonous meal in Shokoto State. Still on page 7, also, Enugu APC crisis deepens as Nwoye is impeached. Enugu APC crisis deepens as Nwoye is impeached. Former Speaker, three others suspended. And then I move lastly to page 30. On page 30, APC governors appeal to resident doctors to suspend strike. APC governors appeal to resident doctors to suspend their nationwide indefinite strike today. And that's all on the, um, the gallery TV newspaper review this morning. And that's all we can say this morning on the Gallery TV newspaper review. Don't forget to join us again by 12 p.m. for yet another news update. I remain Titulayo Olamide. Thanks for watching and you have a lovely day. news to all Lagos residents, especially owners of landed properties. Payment of land use charge has now been made easy through an online platform known as Lola. Lola is Lagos online assistance platform where payment of land use charge is possible through a WhatsApp only message on 0815-433-3883. This Lola platform initiated by the Lagos State Ministry of Finance will make the payment of land use charge possible anytime, any day and anywhere without any third party involvement. For more information, please visit www.lola.ng or heluc.lagostate.gov.ng Lola, the easiest way to pay your Lagos State land use charge. Always remember, Ibigai Pileko Achumoshini.